healthy immune systems maintain a fine balance between effector cells, which allow the body to fight infections, and tolerogenic cells, which regulate these responses. In the normal effector response to pathogens, APCs are activated by a series of pathogen recognition receptors, which are also known as toll receptors. This response is reversed by the tolerogenic side of the immune system once the pathogen is cleared. In contrast, overactive effector immune responses, or insufficient tolerogenic response to autologous or allogeneic antigens, can result in immune-mediated diseases. Therapies for restoring this balance have traditionally targeted the effector arm of the immune system by either eliminating effector cells or suppressing their function. In contrast, extracorporeal photophoresis, or ECP, is believed to bolster the tolerance arm of the immune system, therefore providing a novel therapeutic approach that may have significant activity in the early treatment of disease. An instrument called the UVAR XTS is used to perform extracorporeal photophoresis therapy. This instrument first removes whole blood from the patient and centrifuges the blood to separate red blood cells from the leukocyte containing buffy coat cells. The red blood cells and plasma are then immediately returned to the patient. The buffy coat cells remain in the UVAR XTS machine, where they're treated with methoxylin and irradiated with UVA light, which photoactivates the drug. The photoactivated buffy coat cells are then returned to the patient. Methoxylin belongs to a class of naturally occurring compounds known as sorolins. DNA is one of the key cellular targets of methoxylin. Upon UVA irradiation, methoxylin forms either single-stranded or double-stranded DNA crosslinks at pyrimidine residues. The DNA crosslinks induced by photoactivation of methoxylin ultimately result in programmed cell death, or apoptosis. Importantly, recent data have suggested that photophoresis induces apoptosis in all cells in the treated buffy coat, including lymphocytes, granulocytes, and monocytes. These treated cells represent only a small portion of the body's total number of circulating leukocytes. When methoxylin-treated apoptotic cells are returned to the patient and re-enter the circulation, they accumulate in lymphoid organs and the liver. Here they encounter resident antigen-presenting cells which play an important role in removing these apoptotic cells from circulation. Antigen-presenting cells express a set of receptors that specifically recognize apoptotic cell ligands. These receptors target the apoptotic cells for phagocytosis by APCs. A subset of these receptors have signaling capacity, which recent studies have shown alters APC function. This alteration includes a combination of decreased production of pro-inflammatory cytokines increased production of anti-inflammatory cytokines such as TGF-beta and IL-10, decreased ability to stimulate T-effector cell function, and the generation of T-regulatory cells. All of this is believed to result in immune tolerance. Treatment with extracorporeal photophoresis therefore has the potential to restore immune balance, which effectively dampens unwanted immune responses. In conclusion, extracorporeal photophoresis works via a mechanism of immune modulation. 
Photophoresis induces apoptosis of treated cells. Reinfused apoptotic cells generate tolerogenic antigen-presenting cells, which accelerates restoration of immune balance. And restoration of immune balance early in the treatment regimen may be beneficial in preventing the progression of disease.